Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, there was a little bird named Pip. Pip was very small and very scared. He was so scared, in fact, that he had never flown more than a few inches off the ground. All the other birds in the forest teased him for his fear, and he felt ashamed. One day, Pip decided that he wanted to see the world beyond the forest, but he didn't know how to overcome his fear. He went to his mother, who was the wisest bird in the forest, and asked her how he could fly higher and farther. Pip, the only way to overcome your fear is to face it head on, his mother said. You need to trust in yourself and your abilities. Pip took a deep breath and gathered all his courage. He flapped his tiny wings and flew as high as he could. The wind rushed past him, and he was so scared that his heart was pounding in his chest. He flew higher and higher until he reached the top of the tallest tree in the forest. Pip was trembling with fear, but he looked around and saw something he had never seen before. He saw the sun setting over the horizon, and it was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. The sky was filled with hues of orange, pink, and purple. The forest looked like it was on fire, and the breeze carried the scent of flowers and trees. Pip felt a sense of wonder and awe that he had never experienced before. He realized that if he had never faced his fear and flown higher, he would have missed out on that beautiful moment. He also realized that the other birds were wrong about him. He was brave, and he had proven it to himself. With newfound courage, Pip flew farther than he had ever flown before. He saw mountains, rivers, and oceans. He met other birds and animals and made friends. He learned new things and saw new sights. He felt grateful for every moment he had and never forgot the lesson he had learned from his mother. Meanwhile, in the forest, the other birds had noticed Pip's absence. They felt guilty for teasing him and realized that they had been wrong about him. They felt ashamed of their behavior and decided to apologize to Pip. When Pip returned to the forest, he was surprised to see the other birds waiting for him. They apologized for their behavior and told him that they were proud of him for facing his fear. Pip forgave them and felt happy to have made new friends. From that day on, Pip was no longer scared of flying high. He knew that he could trust in himself and his abilities. He also knew that it was okay to be scared and that facing his fear would lead to new opportunities and experiences. Years went by, and Pip grew up to be a wise and respected bird in the forest. He told his story to the other birds, and they all learned from it. Pip had taught them that being brave doesn't mean being fearless. It means facing your fear and trusting in yourself. It means taking risks and trying new things. It means living life to the fullest. Sarah listened intently to her grandma's story and felt inspired. She wanted to be like Pip and face her fears. She hugged her grandma and said, Thank you, Grandma. I learned a lot from Pip's story. Grandma smiled back and said, You're welcome, Sarah. Remember, you can do anything you set your mind to. Just trust in yourself and be brave.